winter storms, snow and ice. They can create big problems on highways. Accidents, delays, traffic jams. Every year, highway agencies spend over a billion dollars on snow and ice removal and apply large quantities of chemicals and abrasives that lead to environmental pollution, bridge corrosion, and of course, rust on your car. We accept this to keep our roads passable and our driving safe, but improved methods are clearly needed. In 1987, the President signed a transportation bill creating the Strategic Highway Research Program, a five-year effort to develop new methods and products in highway construction, maintenance, and safety. One of the research areas of the program was snow and ice control. An important product of this research was the development of anti-icing technology. What is anti-icing? Generally speaking, it is a snow and ice control strategy for important roads that must be kept open. Its goal is simple, to prevent a strong bond between snow and ice and the pavement, or between ice and bridge decks. Though several technologies could accomplish this, such as heating the surface, the one that is proving to be cost effective is spreading an ice control chemical onto the road. As a preventive strategy, the essence of anti-icing is to spread chemical, a liquid, solid, or pre-wetted solid, on the road before freezing precipitation starts, or soon after it begins, but always before a bond can form between the pavement and ice or snowpack. This timely treatment enables traffic to disperse a small amount of snow or ice accumulation. If plowing is necessary, crews can clear the road more easily. Although these practices have been in limited use for many years, anti-icing has come to mean a modern strategy that uses an array of new technologies, such as the road weather information systems, site-specific weather and pavement temperature forecasting, and sophisticated chemical spreaders, as well as conventional technologies. By combining new technologies with conventional practices, anti-icing can provide two important benefits, keeping roads passable and safe for a longer time, and using smaller amounts of chemicals and abrasives to do so. Unlike anti-icing, the strategy of de-icing allows a bond to form between the ice or snowpack and the pavement surface. After snow has fallen and the ice or snowpack has bonded to the pavement, maintenance crews spread the ice control chemical. The de-icer must melt through the pack and still have sufficient concentration to break the bond. This takes more chemical because its effectiveness is reduced as it gets diluted by the layer it melts. De-icing is a much slower process, taking hours or days, depending on the air and pavement temperatures and the storm conditions. Also, until the de-icing process can work, crews must often spread abrasives on the snowpack to increase the road friction. Many agencies are seeking ways to reduce both chemical and abrasive use because of the application costs and the harmful environmental and health effects. Using anti-icing is a way to do this. To determine the best techniques for a wide range of environmental, traffic, and climatic conditions, the Strategic Highway Research Program evaluated anti-icing for two years in nine states, California, Colorado, Maryland, Minnesota, Missouri, Nevada, New York, Ohio, and Washington. The results from this study were so promising that it was continued for two more years and six more states, Iowa, Kansas, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Oregon, and Wisconsin were added to the study. Here's what some of the study participants have to say. For the anti-icing, the savings is mostly in the efficiency, that you get it where you need it and you don't have to keep going back and putting it back. Where the big savings for us has been has been in the frost control. Instead of going out night after night and reapplying cinders and or salt, we do it once a week or once every five days. So we're saving in materials, plus we're saving just in uh, personnel hours. And that's where our, our biggest saving has been, plus in the accident factor. The fact that we can get it out there when we need it and control the ice at, it really helps in cutting down there. A uh, number of our sections are showing 8 to 10 to 1 savings on uh, de-icing over sanding or anti-icing over sanding, particularly when we're morning in black ice. Uh, typically it takes six passes at a yard per lane mile of sand, and the sand costs us anywhere from uh, $10, $10 to $15 a yard. 
and uh, one pass using anti-icing and we don't have to do anything more. And this is a significant savings both in manpower and in sand. What we have seen is, is where we have put our major effort in training has paid off in many times first, first use results. Uh, the, one of the examples is a crew in their first use uh, put down $300 worth of material and they saved over $3,000 in labor and materials. And this was their first experience with it other than the training. Yeah, I'd recommend almost everybody uses it because it will keep the snow from bonding. It will make your cleanup faster. And in a lot of cases, like the city of Glenwood Springs asks us to shoot it because just for anti-icing, it does two things. It will uh, keep the dust down from when we sand so they don't get dust in the storm, in the storefronts and on the sidewalks and all over the cars. And it'll keep the roads from icing up and freezing up on an average storm for two to three hours. The crews that were initially charged with the applications were very skeptical to begin with. And the more they used it, the more impressed they were. And currently they would use it everywhere if I had enough equipment to put it down. A side light to this, the superintendent in Bellingham is doing a test section that historically has 30 accidents a week due to snow and or ice during the, the winter months. And he received a call from the state patrol the other day wanting to know what was going on because this winter they hadn't had any accidents on that road during uh, the normal times when they would have. And uh, they were told that that was our test section and, and they thought whatever we're doing, we're doing it right. And uh, they're always very happy with anything that we can do that reduces the number of accidents that they have to respond to. The four years of study have shown that anti-icing is a valuable tool for winter highway maintenance, especially for heavily traveled roads. But it is not the answer to all snow and ice control situations. There will be times when de-icing or other techniques may be needed. Anti-icing, though, has advantages that other techniques do not. Why use anti-icing? It improves safety because pavements are kept in better condition during storms. It generally requires less chemical and abrasive, which is better for the environment and the infrastructure. And it is cost-effective because fewer treatments are required.